Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jennifer Antoinette. So if you heard of beauty subscriptions, well, I have two of them. I'm subscribed to Ipsy and BoxyCharm. And if you want to see what those are about, and if you want to see what I got in the August subscription, then stay tuned. So yeah, if you couldn't tell from my intro, basically I have what you call makeup monthly subscriptions and I'm subscribed to two of them and both of them are a little bit different. So I have been subscribed to Ipsy for a while, for a few years now. And back in the day, I knew that I wanted to get into makeup a little bit. So I felt like Ipsy was the perfect thing for me at the time um, because the glam bag that they have which currently at the time of this recording is about $12 a month. Basically with Ipsy's glam bag, I get five samples a month and it worked for me because I just kind of wanted to try things and kind of see where my hair was at, whether I wanted to try new things or just, you know, kind of dip my toe out there and see what's out there because I kind of wanted to get into it, but didn't want to fully commit to certain stuff. So I felt like the glam bag was perfect for me in terms of getting samples and trying a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then if I liked it, I will go out and purchase the whole entire product on my own, of course, but at least I had a sample to go off of. Now, Ipsy does offer other subscriptions. Glam Bag Plus is about $25 at the time of this recording, and that is five full-size products a month. And then they have another subscription, Glam Back Ultimate, and that is, I think, for $50 a month, and you get eight full size products, and then you get four sample sizes every month. But like I said, I've been with Ipsy for a few years, and I've chosen the sample because I like samples. I've always liked samples. At the time, I just didn't want to have full size products. I had no reason why I just preferred samples at the time. Again, I was just getting into makeup, just getting into skincare, and I just didn't, you know, know what I liked or know what worked for me, what didn't work for me. So I just felt like sample sizes were the right thing for me at the time. As I got older, I ventured out into BoxyCharm. So I know you guys have heard of BoxyCharm if you've been in makeup. And I chose BoxyCharm because I've heard good things about them. I started getting BoxyCharm in late of 2019 and I haven't had any problem with them as of yet. I'm liking the full size products. BoxyCharm, they also have different types of subscriptions. So I have the BoxyCharm box and that is $25 a month at the time of this recording. And you get five full size products a month. They do also have Boxy Lux, which comes quarterly, and that's about $50 a month, and you get about eight full-size products quarterly. They do have another subscription called BoxyCharm Premium, where I think that's about $35 a month, and you get about six or seven items a month. You can do a little bit more research if you would like, but for this video, I wanted to show you guys what I got for my August subscription. I have not opened them. I'm gonna open them on camera and I am on camera makeup free because I don't know what I'm going to get and I may wanna demo some of the stuff that I get. So if I do, I wanted to show you guys what I demo if I do decide to demo. I wanted to come on and show you guys what I got and I we could be surprised together. So if you were thinking about getting it, you could at least see what I got for August and we go from there. I will say this, if any of you guys were wondering about the shipping and how everything's been going since the quarantine, well, I personally have never had an issue with shipping before or during the quarantine with BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Usually before, like before the quarantine happened, you get your products within the month, but I would usually get mine within like a week and a half of the beginning of the month. But since the quarantine, and I even wrote down on my BoxyCharm, um, I got mine on August 14th. At the time of this recording, today's date is August 15th. And I got my BoxyCharm yesterday, August 14th. 
and I just got my Ipsy bag today. But in terms of waiting to get it, and, and I know what's going on in the world, trust me, I'm, I'm okay. It's definitely okay. Another thing that I wanted to say before I open these boxes up, I can't speak too much for BoxyCharm because like I said, I've only been with them since um, late 2019. I've been with Ipsy for years. And me personally, I, I do love Ipsy, don't get me wrong, but a lot of this stuff has become very repetitive. Sometimes the samples that I get, I've had them before. And I know like sometimes you probably can't really like get all types of samples all the time, but Again, that just goes to show you, I've been with them for a while and some of the products I've been getting is like, okay, I got this a couple months ago, but okay. I'm glad I like that product. I can't speak for any other beauty subscription because these are the only two that I'm subscribed to. But when I went through the BoxyCharm and I went through the Ipsy process, they ask you, hey, what do you like? What is your skin tone? What is this? What is that? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm picking something that I think is personal to me. And then when I get certain stuff, I'll see other people that post what they got. And I'm like, that's the same thing I got. Are y'all really doing it? personalized to me I don't know it just so happens that the products I do receive I like but I, I'm just wondering what the what the personalized process looks like because I see a lot of people with the same exact stuff that I have so I just wanted to put that out there so if you see me not surprised about what I get with Ipsy I'm just forewarning you that's probably why because I lately I've been getting kind of the same stuff with BoxyCharm I haven't been experiencing that with them but then again I've only been with them not even a year now so it's still fresh to me so with that being said let's get into it so the first thing we're going to show from the Ipsy bag is the Marad or Marad sorry if I'm saying it wrong but the acne control clarifying cleanser it does have salicylic acid and this is the hemp's brand of Triple Moisture Herbal Whipped Body Cream. It is a lotion. The next thing I have is from Lovecraft Beauty. It's a highlighter in the color Borealis. The next thing I have is the Jersey Shore Cosmetics Watermelon Flavored Moisturizer Rich Hydrating Balm. They gave me two, I think, by mistake, or I don't know if it was a mistake. The last thing I have is the Real Her Be Limitless uh, Lip Gloss in the color Mauve. From the BoxyCharm box, I have the Morphe I Got This brush set. It comes with four brushes. Next, I have the Rockins Cosmetics Big Fat Liner for my eyes. And next, I have the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. I'm really excited about this. And they gave me the color Golden, by the way. This is the Violet Voss Essentials Chew Palette. It has 10 eyeshadow pans. And the last thing I have is the Pure Heels Pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam. And then the next clips you'll see me demoing some stuff. So right now I am starting with the last thing you just saw. I rubbed this stuff in guys, the Charcoal Cleansing Foam, and I just absolutely loved it. I didn't think I would like a foam because I'm not really into foams. And this didn't really foam up like I thought, but after I rinsed it off, I just, I was touching my skin and I really, really like this stuff. The next one I'm using is the Murad Cleansing for the acne and at first I didn't put too enough water in it that's why I was looking like that and so I went back in and put some more water in it and started to lather but ultimately I didn't like the way that it felt on me. I think it's because the acid that was in there is for people with acne I don't have it so it just wasn't a product for me but yeah I just wanted to show you guys how it looked going on my skin. Next was the Jersey uh, Shore Lip Balm, and that stuff 
felt just amazing. It really, really, really felt good. The next was the concealer that at the time I thought was too light, but it actually ended up working out for me and I blended it in with um, a sponge later on, but I ended up liking it. Well, actually I ended up loving it. I don't know why I'm lying. I loved it. You'll see me later on with a full face and I loved it. And this is the uh, mauve lip gloss from earlier and I love that too. And now I'm about to try the eyeshadow palette with the brushes that I had. And this is just me demoing just a little bit of it just to show you how it goes on with the brush and onto my eyes. And here I am trying the big eyeliner. At first I didn't think I was going to like it, but I really, really did. Okay, y'all, I just want to jump in real quick. This is the next day. I'm actually getting ready for work. And I wanted to give the products a different try again. And I washed my face again with this. And I absolutely love it. So this is still one of my faves from the BoxyCharm box. What I also have on is the lotion. Because it smells good. So I put that on my hands. And I, I like the smell of the lotion. Um, again, I prefer a little bit thicker. But this... This works just fine. Let's get into the makeup products. So on my lips, what I did first was put on um, like a brown lip liner. I used Cork by MAC. I used that first. Then I put the hydrating lip balm on there. Y'all, it, it, I really do like the way this feels. And just as a side note, I did check my Etsy app. And I believe I was only supposed to get one. They gave me two. So yay for me. But yes, this is really moisturizing. And then I followed it up with the lip gloss. I I absolutely love this lip gloss. I love the color that it created with the brown lip liner. I love it. And of course, I used the concealer. So initially, I thought it was too light for me. When I did put it on, it was pretty light. And what I did, even though I do like the applicator, um, what I did was I took a like a concealer brush and just took some of it off and just wiped it on me. I just prefer to do it like that. Like I said, I do like the applicator, but I just wanted to put it on like that. I think I learned that from Jackie Ina. So anyway, I love, 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 love the coverage of the concealer. I absolutely love it. And last but not least, the palette, once again, I used the same two colors that I just previously used but i also added a third one so what i did was i used chocolate brown and then i blended it a little bit with clay and then i put bronze on it as well and this is the color that it came up with so and yes i did use the eyeliner again I love the way that it went on my eye, so I'm gonna keep using this. And I did use the Morphe brush to blend some of this in, so that was okay. And I did use the highlighter on my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on the side here. I'm glad I gave it a second chance. I actually like the way that it looks, so. Yeah, an actual real quick demo to show y'all how it looks pulled together. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you're thinking about getting BoxyCharm or Ipsy, just wanted to have this little video for the August box. But here's the end of the video. I just wanted to show you guys just one more time what I got in both arrivals. So thanks for watching guys.